Hi guys, Mark here. Probably you know that quality of your pictures really matters if you are uploading on Instagram. Today I will show you what you can do in Lightroom to export pictures in that way, which will give you the best possible quality effects in Instagram. And we can start right now. What are the best dimensions of pictures to post on Instagram? Answer is simple. This is 1080 for 1350 for Instagram post. As this is just maximum you can upload to avoid any resizing made by Instagram. And for Instagram story, that is 1080 for 1920. The same reason, that is just maximum. Maybe you are wondering why you should use maximum. The answer is very simple. Instagram is visual tool, so it is the best if your picture can take as much space on the screen as is possible and will have the best, which means the highest resolution possible. Please see examples of portrait, square and landscape. Definitely the biggest impression can be diamond portrait because it took the biggest space. But if because of any reasons you do not like to do vertical orientation, then for square the best is 1080 for 1080. Why? Again the same reason. As max width on Instagram is 1080, you should use it. You can upload smaller, but quality will be worse. For horizontal, you will find information that the best is 1080 for 566. And this is only partially true. 566 is just the smallest height accepted by Instagram to avoid any resizing or even cutting. But as well, you can use 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. You can use everything from 566 till 1350. But of course, ratio will change. Anyway, only what you need to remember is that width always should be 1080 and height never should go below 566 or above 1350. Everything between is fine, but the best is vertical. We are in Lightroom right now and I will show you how to export that picture to Instagram. As you remember, we discussed about right dimensions and about posting vertical. So this is something what I'm going to do. So we'll need to reframe it a bit. I'm choosing 4.5 because this is exactly ratio what we need for 1080 for 1350. Okay, but I don't want to horizontal. I prefer vertical as discussed and looking for right composition. That one looks interesting for me. Okay, so we did reframing. And the last thing what we need to do is to click right button on my picture, go to export and choose export. You can create presets and use them many times. It will save your time definitely. If you prefer, you can download my presets. Link will be in the description. Anyway, the best settings are JPEG as image format, sRGB as color space, quality 100%, don't set any limit, so put it empty. Image sizing, we are going vertical, so as you can see here and discussed earlier, resolution totally no matter as we'll stay digital. It is only relevant if you print your pictures. So no matter what you choose here and sharpening for screen, because we will still be on screen in Instagram and amount, it's up to you. You need to experiment if standard or high works better for you. At the end, click export, choose right folder and export. Okay, done. So. You have pictures exported from Lightroom and those pictures are probably on your computer 
and you would like to move them to your mobile app. Please be aware that the way how you will transfer them really matters. If you will use such applications like Google Drive, Dropbox, AirDrop, or if you will add them to mail as the attachment, that what you will send, it will be received without changes. But if you will use different applications, for example, like Facebook Messenger, the quality will be worse. Application will use compression and the effects will be not exactly that what you would like to get. So please remember that and thank you very much. I hope that video was useful for you. If you have any remarks, then please leave them in comments to let me do better videos next time. Thank you very much, guys.